Happy Sunday morning, everybody. I am still in my pajamas, and this is, yeah, first thing in Sunday morning here. <laughs> we are starting off the day by finishing up some chores I didn't get done yesterday. And uh, after, of course, having my morning coffee and some breakfast. And we're gonna take showers. And then I think we're gonna go for a drive. Um, we might actually go into downtown Portland. I never do that by myself. Bob's got to take me because, yeah. Anyway, I will let you know what we get up to. We have a couple of random chore, uh, chores to do here at the house. Like, I need to have a couple of... I gave away a painting that was here. I hung this one that was upstairs. But we have a couple of nail holes I need to patch. Only... There's paint in there, but I can't get the lid off. So we'll have to work on that at some point. All right, I'll be back. Okay guys, we are in downtown Portland and near the waterfront. Yep. We found the cherry blossoms and we're gonna go for a walk, yeah. I just, I just asked Bob, why am I now inspired to not only paint cherry blossoms, but make a sweater with cherry blossoms on it. The Portland Makers Market, I think is what it's called. There you go. Every single weekend. And I forgot that was here. Glad we walked through. We did, of course, get some coffee. Now we're going to go see the cherry blossoms. Let's go. Okay, all I want to do is say, um... What is it? What? What is it? I don't know. What's that? So, we are going to stop at another yarn shop on the way home. Um, it's supposedly one of the oldest yarn shops in Oregon, Northwest Wolves, or at least in Portland. So we're going to stop there and see. I'm still on the hunt for some mini skeins. We're going to be going on another road trip or two soon. Half a mile. Turn left on South Harbor Drive. And I have a particular project I'm going to bring to work on. So yeah, let's go check it out. Just in Northwest Wolves. Yeah, I did buy a few minis, including... I think three of them are silk merino, one is um, mer merino nylon sock yarn. All of them are thin. For the project I'm working on, I'm using thin yarn. Anyway, not a super big store, super friendly staff. And despite the fact that the store is kind of small, huge selection, like every nook and cranny has yarn in it. And if you're looking for something specific, it's best to, I think, ask the staff um, where it is because they, do, they have that much yarn. It's some beautiful stuff, you guys. Their prices are pretty good. I think in some respects better than some of the other shops I've been to. And uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. So we'll be back at some point, not right now. But anyway, we have one more errand to do before we go home for lunch. And I guess I have a few more skeins to wind up. So that's a thing. I'll be back. Okay, once we got home and had lunch, Bob started um, working with the plants and pots we bought at the garden shop on the way home. And I tried to help him and I brought, uh, was bringing pots, empty pots from the backyard to the garage so he could fill them up. And let's just say one of them was really heavy. And I know post COVID I've said sparingly that we just both feel like we're fatigued post COVID. And um, I, I feel okay, but I'm not the same. And that includes some dizziness and things. And yeah, let's just say I brought the pots around, but then I almost passed out, so. Yeah, then I came in the house and went to go sit down and my water glass wasn't completely shut and I spilled water all over myself. <laughs> so I had to take my pants off and I've got now sweats on and yeah, I, you know. <laughs> so I'm not allowed to help him anymore right now and I did the cleaning out of the bathroom cabinet which was on the list of things to do. So that's done, anyway. Oh joy, I'll be back. Here's my finished sweater. I'll put a better picture here. And I've got a bunch of stuff to take upstairs. I need to put a tag on this. I'll put a little tag like right here on the collar. And what is that? Oh yeah. Um, I 
I think I'm just gonna do hexagons if I do any more crocheting today. I don't think I'm gonna do uh, another sweater project at the moment, but I do have like maybe four other projects that I have the yarn for. So there's that. <laughs> anyway, it's all good. <sighs> and I feel better now that I sat and just did this and my husband admonished me for lifting something that was probably way too heavy for me that I shouldn't have done between the asthma and the post COVID symptoms. I shouldn't have done that, <laughs> but you know, live and learn, right? It sucks, but there you go. All right. That's it for the minute. I'll be hey back. guys, it's four o'clock on Monday, March something. I don't know, March something. 25th? Yep, 25th. Um, uh, I haven't vlogged before now just because um, I was busy. I was learning about crochet symbols and crochet charts where you don't have written word instructions, you have just a chart that shows symbols for the stitches. And then of course, I wanted to create one. And then of course, I wanted to know, can you make a star with the Red Heart all in one Granny Square yarn? Well, yes, yes, you can. <laughs> anyway, if you want the chart for that, um, it's in my Patreon, so you have to go join my Patreon. They, patrons get it free, stuff like that for me for free. Anyway, I spent most of the morning doing that and nothing else. Yes, it doesn't happen overnight or in five minutes. Anyway, I'm going to edit the vlog right now and get it hopefully posted and scheduled for Wednesday. And then I don't know what I'm going to do. I've got chores, but I just don't want to. So I'll be it back. edited and rendering. Woohoo! <laughs> Um, working on those crochet charts um, and learning about them and creating one took so long today, so much longer than I thought it was going to, um, but that's okay. Um, it was interesting to learn and I'm going to take a couple of product shots here. The table's a mess because I still have more video to film for you all. So, but I will try to get it done soon. I promise. Okay, I'll be hey, back. We're going to go out for a walk. I was winding yarn balls, some of the yarn I bought this weekend while I was waiting for Mr. to get off of work. One of them had a mass massive uh, amount of yarn poop. I'll put a picture here. So now I got to sit and untangle it. Happens every now and then. Well, anybody who knows needlework, does needlework, knows about yarn poop. Doesn't matter how cheap or expensive the yarn is, occasionally you get you get poop. It happens. So you have to sit patiently. Whether you like it or I'm not. not. Hi, <laughs> not, not, get it not. not. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go get some steps in and uh, all that jazz. See what we can see. I'll be Good back. Good morning, everybody. It is about eleven o'clock this morning on Tuesday, March twenty-sixth, I think. Let's check. Yeah, March 26th. Um, as you can hear in the background, I am babysitting today. You want the water? No? Yes? No? Okay. This? I, I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna be babysitting today. I spent a couple hours last night untangling the yarn poop. Um, the picture I showed is after untangling it for about an hour. I did get all of it untangled. I didn't cut anything. Uh, I just put on some YouTube and just sat and I refused to move my butt off the couch until it was done. I wound the other two uh, mini skeins this morning. So everything's ready to go. Yay! Um, we will um, be trying to do a little bit of something today in and around, you know, but he's my priority. So anyway, we're gonna play for a little bit and then have some lunch. And according to his parents, he's on the I'm hungry every hour or so thing, <laughs> which not surprised. <laughs> anyway, I am gonna go take care of him. I'll be back.
Good morning, everybody. It's, um, turn that down so it doesn't come on. Kind of a momentous day here in the land of Dina Aaron's YouTube. Um, we are simplifying things earlier um, this year and or end of last year, because I don't remember when I did it now. We closed the Etsy store because it wasn't making enough money to justify keeping it open. I have transferred um, my creative energies to Patreon instead. Um, so when I come up with digital downloads or something like that, or pattern ideas or all of those things, I, instead of selling them in my Etsy store, I give them to my patrons. Um, we're also closing the PO box. You know, I don't need anything. What I want, I can buy. I appreciate all your love and support, but I don't need the PO box. So we're gonna go close it this morning. I know, right? Um, made a couple more um, hexes for my current project last night. And um, the yarn is really thin and the crochet hook is really small. So I only do a couple a day because otherwise that would just drive me completely insane. Um, I am already thinking like three projects ahead and there's an Afghan project I might want to try. I got the digital copy of the book that goes with it. I just have to figure out what yarn that's not going to cost me like a second mortgage. I'd love to do it out of wool or wool blend because that would be just fabulous, but I just don't see that in the budget. So I might stop by Joann's and see what they have like on sale or on clearance. We'll see. All right, we also have to go to Rite Aid and all that stuff. First, we're gonna go close the P.O. box. All right, I'll be back. That was scary easy. All I had to do was tell him I wanted to close it and hand in the keys. <laughs> it's a little freaky. All right, on to the next thing. If you can hear that, it's raining kind of hard. Um, who would have thought the hardest thing on my list this morning would be finding contact paper, but that was a thing. I uh, spoke to a couple ladies in a couple stores, including Rite Aid, and I guess they're having supply issues already. And anyway, they had absolutely no contact paper in the store. And to be fair to her, their supply issues have been going on since COVID because that that particular store especially, but all the Rite Aids I've been to, they all look the same. They look half empty. Anyway, um, I had to go to Fred Meyer. I did finally find the, some contact paper. I got the same green color I had last time, which is fine. I use it just to make my own DIY storage boxes for the year for all my daily drawing books and that sort of thing. And so I need to make one for 2024 because I haven't done that yet. Uh, I also am starting a new blanket project, as I said, and I did find yarn colors I want to use. I got Karen one pounds and a big giant ball of big twist for the edging. Each ball, including the big twist, was $7.99 um, for a minimum of 800 plus yards. The big twist one was over a thousand. And plus the yarn was buy three, get one free. And I got four balls, so I got one free. Um, and it cost me like $30 and change. And it, I really would love to do it with a wool or wool blend. However, it would have cost me uh, at minimum $130, probably more than that. So yeah we didn't do that so we're doing acrylic but that's fine all right we're gonna go home now because <sighs> I'm kind of peopled out yeah I'll be back so it is Thursday March 27th I think 28th 28th um yeah that's junior that you hear it's babysitting day and yeah last oh my <laughs> he's definitely approaching toddler years um, last week we, we gave Oma a love bite. <laughs> um, this week we bonked heads with Oma and also <coughs> scratched her eyeball. Just, yeah. And then today we scratched her chin. Trying to keep my face out of harm's way, but it's not doing too well. Anyway. <coughs> other than babysitting, we're going to be working on some crochet and other things. And, of course, focusing on him. He's mad I turned his sound off on his TV show. Anyway, I'll be back. It's Friday, March 
29th. Yeah, Good Friday. Um, I don't think I've vlogged before now. So I made a sweater a while back that just turned out way too big for me. Then I shortened the sleeves. I said on video, on video that that was better. I'll probably wear it this way. I like things loose and baggy. I really still wasn't happy with it, to be honest. I had some leftover yarn and I started working on the project you can see on my shoulder now. Um, I will link the book I got this from. Um, I got a digital copy of the book from Amazon and um, it's just an easy, simple crochet pattern book and um, with something called an iris, iris stitch, little these little clusters. And um, it doesn't have sleeves yet, I'm not done, but oh my gosh, I like it so much, I frogged the other sweater. I, like, I'm not kidding. So this is most of it. I have another like skein and a half of the leftovers plus one of these cakes and a ball in the basket to finish this sweater with. And then whatever's left over, I will probably uh, make a blanket with. So loving this so much more than the other one. There wasn't, it was just me. It wasn't the pattern or anything. I was trying something new and it just didn't work. So, you know, that happens every now and then. Anyway, no family dinner tonight because we are doing it on Sunday for Easter with the kids and Tonight, Bob and I are going to go shopping at Ikea. We need some bookshelves for the front room because um, we're going to be doing a little bit of rearranging out there and in the house. Um, not only because we just need to, but in light of his mom's passing, we have more of her memorabilia we want to put up on display, I think. And we need a place to put that. And so, yeah. And FYI, in case you haven't noticed and at this point until I edit, I have no idea if I've said or not yet, but um, I think I did. You know, Junior recently um, bit me. I mean, he's not even a year old yet. He has no idea. But anyway, he bit me. He was being playful. He didn't understand. Anyway, um, we were playing and he likes to see my messy babysitting bun that I have when he's here because he likes to pull my hair, um, bounce around, and we accidentally bonked heads. And then he was trying to move my head down to touch my hair and poke me in the eye. It's getting better. Um, and then yesterday, again, he was trying to move my head down and I didn't want to get poked in the eye again. So I'm like, you know, no, be gentle. And he scratched my chin. <laughs> it's just, you know, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> it's a thing. So anyway, let me show you the sweater. So far, it is long, but I do like to wear them that way. Not only out, but around the house, um, over sweats, over pajamas or whatever. It does need sleeves still. I haven't added them yet. Um, the pattern doesn't call for ribbing around the edge. It calls for a single crochet. I really, really wanted to put ribbing on it and I'm glad I did, but I don't necessarily want to put buttons, but I am going to do the sleeves per the pattern and then I'm going to put a ribbing around the cuff. Probably a nice wide ribbing it. At least like this, which I think is six stitches. Now this is Premier Puzzle and I'm using a nine millimeter hook, I think. You know, I have this thing for not doing gauge swatches. I really should. <laughs> but I just tend to start crocheting. Anyway, I think it's a nine millimeter hook. Hold on, let's let's look, shall we? This is one of my little mini project bags for my tools. Um, why am I squinting? My glasses are not far away. Eight millimeter hook, sorry. So um, yeah, it's turning out really cute. And I'm really happy that I did this. So yay, all right, it's time to stop doing that. It took a couple hours to frog the sweater and then I've been working on trying to get the body of this sweater done, shoulder sewn and all the ribbing done around the neckline and around the bottom before I go downstairs to do some boring chores. Um, <laughs> Well, there you can see the two scratch marks really good. Yeah. Anyway, um, but the boring chores have got to be done. So I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to do the boring chores. I've got to do today's drawing, which I'm going to do. And I've got to put a couple things away up here. Um, so we're going to try to do all that stuff. I'll be yes, back. Yes, it says the word mute. I just wasn't looking for it. Okay. Um, we are <laughs> headed home from Ikea. 
Uh, we went there after Bob got off of work today. Um, we are going to be doing a little bit of um, rearranging and redecorating in the family room and the front room. And we needed some cabinets. Um, we're gonna make a book wall um, in the family room, but also we want to display some more of Bob's mom's things. And so we needed some place to do that. And honestly, when we moved in, we just threw some stuff together. Bob knows this. We found a couple pieces of furniture we liked, but then couldn't find anything else we liked. And we just got like cubes and shit to put in there. And they're okay, but they were never our favorite. So we're gonna fix that. And um, we'll probably still keep the cubes. I have some ideas, um, but we're gonna only keep what we need and what we can use and the rest we'll be letting go of. But we also both love books. And Bob even has his college calculus books still. So I think one of the things we need to do is go through the books again. I have a hard time with that. It's like going, getting rid of art supplies for me. I have a difficult time with that too. Contrary to what you see here on the channel. And, um, but yeah, it's an upcoming process. It'll take a while. We had to order the cabinets because they didn't have them in stock. Um, so, and then it'll be a bit before we can get them put together on that. So anyway, we're gonna head home now lovely Portland traffic uh, yeah especially because they've closed a couple of major roads because they're doing road work um, it's made the rest of it horrible it's not as bad as California or New York City or anything like that but for here it's bad but anyway we're gonna go home he's gonna have a drink I'll probably have coffee all the things I'll be back Guys, I would say good morning but it's afternoon <laughs> what time is it um, 1.30 p.m. Saturday, March 30th. Um, as you saw last night, we went to Ikea. We bought some cabinets for this wall back here. When we moved in, we just kind of slapped this wall together. And really the only thing that's going to stay is a TV and that cabinet. Everything else is going to get rearranged and or go somewhere else. So um, not the paintings, but you know what I mean. Anyway, and I have books all over the house. It'd be really nice if they were all in one place. Um, and we have more memorabilia from his mom, as I said. So anyway, um, Bob and son-in-law Paulius are off to a basketball game. Paulius got free tickets. So they are down in Portland at the Moda Center at doing that today. I am going to finish my iris, iris stitch sweater that I'm almost done with. I have the rest of one sleeve to do. And then I have like five bags of blanket yarn. Blankets I want to make for that stack back there. <laughs> um, so I could go somewhere and I could go thrifting and I could like go to the resale shop. I don't really need to. I don't need anything. So I think I'm going to just stay home and work on projects. I made myself a cup of iced coffee. I'm going to turn on some YouTube or some music or something and I'm going to just chill. And you know what? Because I'm going to just take advantage of it while I can because life is crazy, right? All right, let's do that. I'll be hey back. you guys, frog one sweater only to turn it into another. But you really love this other one. You ready? I mean, this is cute. And this is what I'll wear. Yes, the sleeves are a little long, but I honestly kind of like it like this. The body is much less big than the other one. And it's a really long sweater. Let's see if I can get an angle on this for you. I don't know. I might have to turn the phone the other way. I'll pull you forward. Hold on. Yep, it's a nice long sweater. I'm really happy with it. The pattern was really easy. Um, this is Premier Puzzle. I wear these long sweaters around the house a lot, especially, but also out. Um, and I have a couple of store-bought ones, but I really love that now I have a homemade one. I love this. I'm so glad I did this. No, it doesn't have pockets or buttons. I don't need it, really need it to. I could stick a um, scarf pin if I want to close it. I do have some. If you don't know what a scarf pin is, Google it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do have now a lot of this yarn left over, but I think I'm gonna make a hat for Mr. out of some of it. And also, um, I'm gonna turn the rest into a blanket. But yeah, look at this. This was a good use of the yarn. I love it. 
so happy I did this. I'll link the book that I got the pattern from down below. I did make it longer than needed. And I made, this is shorter on the sleeves. I'm telling you guys, I have fat, I have short arms, fat arms. I have short arms and I put a cuff on it, um, which isn't called for in the pattern. And I didn't want to frog it again, but I did make the cuffs smaller. Like I just folded it over and sewed it down. I mean, that's okay. Someday I might want to take it apart. Kind of doubt it though. Anyway, that's it for right now. <sighs> I'm going to put the leftovers of this yarn away and I'm going to start on a blanket and uh, yeah, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is, I don't know, nine something on Saturday. Uh, time to close the vlog. Anyway, it's been a good productive day. I finished my sweater. I love it. I already wore it out already. Um, I started a blanket. Um, I was questioning my color choices, but I actually love the way it's turning out. So I'm working on that. I've got like five blankets to make. I was sorting yarn today. That's a lot of blankets. So we'll be working on that. And then I've got, I've got a lot of projects going on. And then of course, an idea for an art journal, like in the back of my brain, like why not? It's not full enough in there. Anyway, we are sitting enjoying our nightly word brain puzzle things. And um, Bob had a good day at the basketball game. He brought home some extra snacks. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a good day. Tomorrow's going to be another good day. We're going to celebrate with some of the kids, um, Easter. It'll be Junior's first Easter. So of course we got him some things and Bob's going to barbecue some steak and it'll be a good day, but that's for next week's vlog. There's some stuff coming up and I'll tell you about that coming up. We will be altering temporarily the days I'm doing the vlogs for, um, but you'll understand why when the time comes. Anyway, that's it for the moment. Don't forget to go out and have a good day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Like, share, and subscribe. Check out the video description for relevant links and ways to support the free content here on YouTube. And if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down the below. And that's it right now. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.